Hi. While working on the retro computer project, one of the things I wanted to do was to build some form of an interface that will let me read the address lines and the data lines of the computer and display information in hexadecimal. But after digging around, I found that there's no chips available. And I remember from the old days, we used to have chips. So to try to solve this problem, I decided to use a PIC Micro. I could have well have used a PLD, but I said, you know what, I have a lot of these PIC Micros around. Let's try and use one of those and implement a binary to 77 hex driver. So what I have here is a straightforward PIC uh, six, uh, 16F628. I have three control lines. I have a active low blanking control line. I have an active low latch. I have an active low test line. The purpose of the test line is to turn on all of the segments of the seven segment display. I have four binary switches here hooked up. Uh, and what we should see is that as we start cycling through the various binary data, the display should go from zero to F. So to have a look at the testing signal, so if we hit the test button, we can see all the segments of the LED display have come on. When I hit the blank input, it's actually turning the LED display off. So at the moment, our input going to the decoder is all zero. So we have one is low, two is low, four is low, eight is low. So we have zero, 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 which we have a zero output, so we can latch the output. So if we turn bit one on and we hit latch, our display gives us one. If we turn bit one off and turn bit two on and do a latch, we get the two. If we turn one and two on, that could actually give us three. There's our three. So if we turn bit one and two off and turn four on, and latch, we have four. If we turn on bit one and bit four, we should have five. If we turn on bit two and bit four, we get six. If we turn on bit four, bit two and bit one, we get seven. If we turn them all off and then turn on bit eight and latch, we get eight. If we turn on bit eight and bit one, we now get nine. If we turn off bit one and turn on bit two and latch we get a which is correct so two and eight is ten as we know that hexadecimal ten is a so if we turn on bits one bits two and bits eight and latch we now get b which is correct if we turn on bits turn off bits one and two and turn on bits four we now have c and if we turn on bit one bit four and bit eight we have d and then if we turn on bit two, bit, bit four, and bit eight, we get E. And then finally, with them all on, we get F. So F has actually been latched into the into the buffer, into the little pick. But when I actually do a test, I can see it, do, it will turn on all segments of the display. And when I release the test, it returns back to the previous known value. And the same goes for the blanking input. So if we look at the circuit that we have here, it may look a bit complicated, but in re reality, these eight resistors are just our, our current limiting resistors for our LED display. These four resistors here are just the pull-up resistors for our input, but if this input is coming from another circuit, from another part of the digital circuit, these four resistors, this switch are no longer needed. Again, these control lines have three resistors. There's one resistor here that we're not using as a function on this pick that could be used. So if someone wants to take the source code that I'm going to upload to the blog, they're more than welcome to take the source code, modify it and change the circuit around. Um, what I should point out also is that this LED display is a common cathode display. So if someone wanted to go in and modify the code in the pick, they can change it to common anode and work from there. So really, when the circuit act, when you, all you require for the pick to run is just the pick itself, one pull-up resistor, a small uh, timing capacitor, so when the pick starts up, we have a little reset circuit. And then after that, all the signals will just be clocked in. So a fairly straightforward circuit. Um, all the information regarding the circuit and the schematic will be up on the blog. And if you have any problems or any questions, drop a comment on the, on the website. Thanks very much. Bye.